I think more people need a great relationship with losing and fear when mm. it comes to business. In your journey, did you ever doubt yourself? Or have you ever been scared that a business decision or an investment might fail? Um, I've been thoughtful in knowing that I was doing things that were high risk and had a potentially high percentage chance of not succeeding. But I either A, needed to taste it. Like I just genuinely needed to um, see it through. Like I was just too curious to, to not, not do it. Um, I don't really fear, I, I've never done anything in business that if it fails, I have to remarkably change my lifestyle. I have to sell my home. I have to, you know, not, I've never done that kind of behavior. And then even more importantly, I've never been scared to play humble, meaning humbly accepting defeat and definitely humbly in my lifestyle. So I've never, I've never um, worried about that. I mean, that, that fear in business has almost never been a variable for me. Um, and so the answer is not really. And I, and I think it's important for people to hear this. I'm not saying that I always think it's gonna be great and I'm overconfident. It's just that when I know I'm in losing situations or potential losing situations, I mentally uh, corked my wine social network from 2009, failed felt very confident that it might because I wasn't running the business. I, was, I bought it, I put somebody in place. I was stretched in between Wine Library and the start of VaynerMedia and I just wrote a book. Like I knew that it might not work and I would lose money. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, uh, buying something called Lost Letterman, a sports media site failed when I integrated it into VaynerMedia years ago. But, um, but I wasn't, concerned about it because I learned a lot, which led to me making the acquisition of purewow.com mm. and building a true media conglomerate. Uh, Vayner Live and Vayner Events failed twice. I had ex you know executives, one who's still a tremendous friend, it just didn't click, and another one that she went on to wanting to do some stuff on her own. Um, but I've learned a lot about live event marketing and feel very confident that when I get into it, uh, if I get into it, I'm now in a different place. And all of those were losses and all of those were six or seven figure losses, but didn't put me out of business and, and, and taught me quite a bit. And more importantly, not the kind of thing that I feel any shame or concerned about I'm, I'm thrilled for the executions and the learnings and the fact that I get to play for another day. And I, I think more people need a great relationship with losing and fear when mm -hmm. it comes to business. I think people have to recalibrate it. I think too many people struggle with outside opinions about their wins or losses. For me, I try to keep it in a very narrow pocket of like the cheering and the booing is all kind of the same. And I just got to keep focusing on the goal at hand.